What is going on, Movie Stalkers? I'm your host, Francis Bo, and I know, I know, it's another Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice video. These are the last two videos that I have to do for Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and then we can immediately move on to the next couple of videos that I still need to do. Kill me now. Okay. I'm ready? No going back. One, two, three. Oh yeah, this is a nerf gun. So self make videos, don't I? But anyway, let us get down to our video today. The title of the video is What We Learn About Batman in Batman vs Superman Dawn Justice. What I basically am talking about in this video is what do we know about this new Batman? And then in my next video we're gonna talk about what we learned about Superman. So what do we know about Batman? Let's talk about the basics already. First off, we know that this is an older version of Batman. This is not, you know, I just came out of the Batcave and now be now Batman. No, he's been around for like 20 years. He's dealt with all types of villains, probably like the Riddler, Joker, Two-Face, uh, all kinds of villains. And he's seen some stuff. So, we know that one. The next one is that we do know that he and Alfred have been doing this for like a long time. It seems that Alfred actually has helped him a lot, especially when it comes to like using the bat wing. So pretty interesting. The third one that we learned about Batman is that yes, Batman did have a Robin at some point. Now, either this Robin died or he moved on. Something happened to this Robin that we still do not know. It's most likely Jason Todd, but we still do not know what happened to this Robin. Now, a lot of speculation about who, what could happen to that Robin, but most likely in Suicide Squad they're going to help us learn more about this Robin. I just have a feeling, especially since we have Batman in Suicide Squad, so who's to say it might not happen. The fourth thing that we learned about this Batman is that he is going to be a very, very key character when it comes to the future because if you, remember, if you guys haven't seen my Nightmare video, please go check that out. It's where I talked about the Nightmare scene. And as we meant, as, it's spoilers, so if you guys have not seen the movie, you guys shouldn't be watching this video at all. Um, but yeah, Batman does know a lot about the future and what events could happen. So he knows a lot, thanks to the Flash in the future. He knows a lot about what's going to happen in the future. And he himself is going to be a very key player in the DC Extended Universe, because it's not just about, you know, hey, it's Batman, he's been around for 20 years. No, this Batman not has just been around for 20 years now, he also knows stuff that's going to happen in the next 20 years, so pretty interesting. So, yeah, he's going to be a key player, and with Ben Affleck on board, dude, yeah, I'm, lo I'm loving this Batman, especially, you know, learning all that stuff. The, uh, so, okay, so that was the fourth one. Number five, the fifth thing that I that we learned about this Batman is that this Batman does kill. He does kill in this movie. Um, I know that that's a different thing for Batman, but something had to influence him to kill. I'm assuming it has to do with something with Robin, but it something made him kill, make his make him break his no killing rule. So, depending where. They're going to tell you where that happened, but yeah, it's interesting. Super interesting, in fact. Very interesting. I'm just kidding. It's getting weird. Um, number five. All right. Now we're to our last one. There's only like six things that you mainly need to know about this new Batman. And the sixth one, the sixth one that you need, that you need to know about this Batman and what we ultimately learn from this movie and this is kind of like a hint, but I don't know if it was, if it wasn't, but Batman did meet Catwoman at some point. We did know that. And something was to happen to Catwoman because there was an Easter egg. If you catch it, there is an Easter egg in Batman vs Superman, and it is a Catwoman Easter egg, and... 
Um, I don't know if something happened to Catwoman or, you know, something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And, yeah. And a bonus number seven. Um, there is a Dick Grayson. I'm just calling it. There is a Dick Grayson in this universe. So, um, that is it, guys. Um, that's it. That's the second to last video that I have to do for Batman for Superman. And then all we have to do now is what we learned about Superman. And then we are done talking about Batman vs. Superman because... I am Batman for Superman out. Like, I'm done with this movie. I'm done. I think I've done like uh, three videos already about this movie, and I have two more to, more to do. Yeah, it's gonna be like, there's gonna be a lot of videos with Batman for Superman. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the new Batman, and also, are you excited for the standalone Batman movie? And how significant do you think Batman's going to be towards the future? So that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you enjoyed these videos, fall out. See you next time. Peace.